What's up, boys? Now, as you see, I have the Throne shirt on. I know you guys all check out Throne, watch all his videos, man. He's one of the best YouTubers out. But he's recently come out with this new offense, this near flex close, uh, near close flex, whatever it is. Um, and it's pretty much taken Weekend League and Mutt by storm. Earlier, probably about two, three weeks ago, I put a video out on how I defend it and what I do against it. Uh, in this video, I want to elaborate on that. I want to just continue to talk about it because it's kind of frustrating when one offense is giving everybody trouble or you see the majority of people flock to that offense because they're trying to just do what everybody else does. You know what I'm saying? So I want to break down how I defend this a little bit more. And I ran into a weekend league game against a guy that's on the leaderboards a lot. Um, the fake Mr. Golden Sports. He has the same gamer tag as Mr. Golden Sports, but one letter has changed. Now he's running the near close flex. And I'm just going to elaborate with my defense, what I do and the things I mix up and what I like about it. Then I'm going to show you the gameplay, the, how I used it in the game of Weekend League. You know, this game was earlier tonight. I decided let's make this video right now. It's not going to take me too long to just talk to you guys about how I defend that. So if you're struggling with it, you'll, you'll love this video. And I hope you watch the video before. It's all going to help you become a better defender against the near first goals now before you get into it you have to realize why is it good because it can cut block blitz eight blitz seven it can cut block all that it's the easiest offense to to roll out with it's the easiest offense to force cut blocks to to seal the edge and be able to roll out with your quarterback that is why it's effective they can get out of there and throw the corner routes they always want to roll out to the wide receiver side. It's a set with two wide receivers close like the boom, near close flex right there, boom. They want to roll out to the side and throw a corner route. That's Madden 20. It's passing in Madden 20. So what can we do to stop that? And I want to show you guys, but before, you know, hit that like button, subscribe if you like this type of video. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, the gameplay is not the greatest. I, I pretty much stopped, <laughs> stopped recording my offenses, so you're not going to see too much of my offense. Uh, because it, this is just about what, how I use the defense and how it works, man. I want to give you guys just more examples of this because I know this is one of the more popular offenses you're going to face. But uh, let's take a look. Let's go to offense or uh, practice mode. Here we go right here, man. Now, I like to run this. Will Buck 3 press. Now, what I want is I want the purple zone linebacker. You know, so it's on the right right now. I want that on the side of the wide receivers. Now, most of the time, they'll put that to the wide side. So if it's the left, I'll go ahead and put it there, and, and so on and so forth. But for now, we'll leave this. We'll leave the stock. The purple zone on the right side. Now, also personnel. While we get into this, I want uh, if if you had to ask me right now, Keith Bullock, Anthony Barr, outside linebacker, or Keith Bullock, Deion Jones, outside linebacker, because they're going to be in zone or contained. So pass rush stats do not matter at all. You want good zone. You want high awareness guys and play to run every once in a while. But basically, your best zone linebackers. I believe this game I used. Um, I think I used Barr and Bullock. You can use Barr and Shazier. You can use Bullock and, and Shazier. Shazier and Deion Jones. You guys know I love Deion Jones. Then I'll probably put um, Lawrence Taylor and who Jadavian Clowney at defensive end, along with Miles Garrett. Now, the D tackle is the biggest part of this scheme because what you want is you, it's an under center scheme. All under center, you want to force a one on one with the center because the set if if the center gets a one on one with the D tackle, the D tackle can beat him before the, the quarterback even stops his drop back. So you can get to the quarterback while he's biking up because he's that close to the center. As soon as he snaps the ball, you can do do right around the center and tackle him. So having a D tackle activated with pass rush elite is the most important thing in this scheme. So if you don't have that, you're going to be in trouble. Uh, we have Kenny Clark. I don't believe what he has here. But we'll, we'll buck three press. This is what I run the whole game against this. All right. Now, we'll come here near. Where is it? Near close flex. Here it is. And now, I can't really emulate everything they do. I'm just going to show you guys exactly what I do. Now, I pinch my line. Right? I come up here. Press. And I always use this, this guy right here. Now, what I like to do is I, we need to contain. But if you contain, uh, what's it, Zadarius Smith, he's just going to get cut blocked. I like to contain my middle linebacker. Boom, right there. Because uh, what's going to happen, they're going to slide. And this contain is a little bit slower, takes a little bit longer, and comes at a different angle. So it messes up their timing on when they want to roll out. So this is pretty much the base setup. Now, I like to shade down and shade up to get Zadarius Smith here in a cloud flat rather than a purple. A purple tends to float in the middle and then just get beat by a corner route instantly. Now, I know a cloud will get beat by a corner route, but it will take a little bit longer. And the longer you keep this quarterback in the pocket, the more time we have for our boy Kenny Clark, 
who just has inside stuff, so he doesn't have pass rush. Well, I use Miles Garrett. The longer you keep the quarterback from rolling out, the better chance Miles Garrett has to getting to the quarterback. So this is the base setup that I use. You know, depending on the routes they run, you can you can definitely uh, change your zones. Um, uh, it, it seems obvious to man up that corner on that guy. It it does, he can't cover the corner route. Most people that run this now are having hot route master, or they even have this tight end activated to where he can run any route. So for me, I just like playing the cover three. It's safe and and. As we talked about the D-tackle being important, safeties with Lurker and Acrobat. Now, Acrobat's a bonus, but Lurker uh, is a must. Calvin Johnson, Taylor Mays, Sean Taylor, um, tall people. I, Tillman maybe, but no. Nah, Palmolive, they're too short for me. Uh, Sean Taylor, Taylor Mays, um, Calvin Johnson. Brian Dawkins, even six foot tall. Ronnie Lott, them type of guys. Lurker. Because when they're on their center, and they're, they don't want to throw the ball anywhere near here. You know, and if someone's throwing the ball in between the tackles in the middle of the field of your user, you're going to get an interception eventually. They're going to make the wrong read. You're going to jump the wrong pass. It is going to happen. So that's why I like Lurker, and we'll see in this game why I do. But also, like I said, so the, the middle linebacker being in a contain rather than an outside linebacker just delays the timing on the rollout. They may still roll out, and that's when you start mixing up. All right, now I'm going to send the linebacker on a contain. Just mix it up. But for the most part, this is my base set up right here now obviously the tight end on the corner route could beat me but if i see him take steps up i know he's going corner route or over the middle now if he's over the middle he's going to stay right here but and then like i said if this starts killing you you can do something like this boom two contains on the middle linebacker you can do something like this just just mix just mix it up but mostly you want these these cover threes and you want the contain on the two wide receiver side to be the middle linebacker that is key, and essentially you can do this out of every play. I like this cover three. So let's get in this gameplay and show you guys exactly how it worked against an opponent as it doesn't work against the computer. So like I said, this is the fake GS, and I'm going for Moss right away. But we use it as a decoy. Throw it up underneath to Julio Jones. Big play right there. Now this guy, we all know GS. He's the man, uh, and his gamer tag is FTO. Tactician, I believe this is FT0 Tactician. Um, so definitely a fake GS. I don't know who would make a fake GS uh, gamer tag, but this guy, and I've played this guy a lot. He seems to be trying to be a meta type of guy. Uh, and, and like I said, this defense is not going to just all of a sudden you're going to lock up every every near close flex. It's, it's just not going to work. As I scored easy seven right off the bat, right off the bat. Here we see again that first play I sent everybody because he had Moss. I didn't. I know he's going to wait for the ball. Send everybody. But there we see again that contain. Uh, wide receiver side, and I got Calvin Johnson over the middle of the field, and we get a sack right there. Who is it? Ryan Shazier, that other linebacker that we blitz. Same thing, next play. That contained the timings a little bit different than the outside linebacker, so we get the sack from that middle linebacker contained. I just want you guys to see this in action and see how it works so you can implement it to your game when you face these near-close flex demons. Offense, uh, this guy... Ran uh, one four six and just ran cover two the whole game. Uh, it was pretty easy, you know. I just took what was there. Uh, I don't believe I really get stopped. That was bad stick right there from Mr. Walter Payton. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's this game, this game as I get get up out of there with Vic, read the blocks and take it to the Baja. But like I said this game is mostly about the defense. Now, once you're up fourteen nothing, it changes the game. But watch that contain on the right side. Going to go down. Now he starts hitting me with a little flat pass. He notices cover three. My linebacker is not going to get out there and cover that. Now, as you're up 14 nothing, you don't really got to worry about that, man. There's no point in stressing over this little, I mean, maybe maybe if he gets 15 yards. But he's getting four and five yards. Don't overreact and give up a bigger play because of a flat pass. Especially when right now I put a hard flat on my linebacker, Anthony Barr. Let's see if he gets out there. He does, and I, I just didn't hold Y there. I didn't expect him to throw right at my face. Um, but this is a little route combo he's mixing in. So I'm going to mix in a little bit of cover two. As you see me, that was cover two. Uh, I didn't change my play. I just switched the, all the zones. You know, I still run that cover three. I still do. But when I do the cover two, I have deep responsibility. So I cannot jump anything underneath. I had to wait for a streak. As you see me, I'm 15 yards back. Rather than when I do that cover three and have safety help over the top, I'm way more aggressive. Boom, there it is, Miles Garrett. That time we sent everybody. Miles Garrett gets the one-on-one, -on -one, beats the center before the quarterback can drop back. Here we're doing the same thing. Cloud flat on the left. 
He loves that flat, but it's second and 16. Patrick Peterson wraps him up. He picks up a cool five yards. Hip, hip, hooray. This time we send everybody. Shazier knocks down a pass. Get him to a fourth down. He's actually going to go for this. This one we actually just mix it up and drop every single person. We only rush two, so he only sends out three. We have tons of coverage. Nowhere for him to go, but he's going to fire this uh, slot pass, slot matic playmaker. They catch it every time. Can't even really be mad about it. That's how the game is. Underneath, what did I tell you? Eventually, if you force them in the pocket and you force them to throw the ball over the middle field, they'll eventually throw one right at you. That's pretty much how it works in this game. Uh, closing in the second half, I'm actually going to wind up punting him the ball, and he gets the ball back here. I just skipped that whole thing just to show you guys the defense. That's that contain again. Patrick Willis, 98 speed, getting the sack right there. So let's watch it. And he'll flip it, so I'm going to flip my setup with him. Flip, and then just blitz that yellow zone. So I had, still had that cloud flat on my outside linebacker on the left. Exactly. Boom. Cover everything. And where does he throw the ball? Right at my face again. You know, if they can't roll out, they can't pass. That's pretty much the key. That's going to lead to another field goal for my man Jan. Yeah, Juan, Yan, Jan, whatever you guys call it. I call him Jan. That's it. So 17 nothing at halftime. Uh, I feel like this guy can't get a first down. Um, now... I'll be the first to tell you there's different levels to a near close flat. Some people are really, really tough with it. Some people, you're going to have to mix it up a lot more than I did this game. Once again, contained. There goes Miles Garrett, that man. Uh, and when I say mix it up, sometimes you got to blitz seven and eight. Right here, we send seven out of ball. Sometimes you got to send three. Sometimes you have to switch up who your contain is uh, as he throws a little wheel route. Once he starts sending out, when he starts sending out four and five, you say, you know, it's time for me to send a little bit more. As we get him to a fourth down here. I'm going to get crazy here. Sometimes you got to get crazy every once in a while. For me now in my life, it's probably, you know, maybe two or three plays a game. We blitz everybody, put a purple flat out there on the left, get the ball exactly where we want, and Taylor Mays couldn't make that tackle. I believe human joystick, I, I clicked off right there, probably clicked off a little bit late, and it caused between that and the human joystick, it caused them to go right by him, but... We gave up our first six. Then the next drive, I don't even want to show it to you. I'll show you the touchdown. So we didn't have a touchdown. Back on defense, uh, it's the same thing the whole time. You know, every time he motions over, he tries to throw a little short, quick pass to the left. Starting to notice that. I'm starting to notice that he's doing that. Uh, pick up on the motions. What do they do when they motion? This time he has time to roll out. But I want to send that. Even though he has time to roll out, because I had that, that cloud zone there, I can send it almost like a spy. And then cover the corner route myself. That time he didn't have a corner route. This time again, we're going to send a lot more people. And who's there? Mr. 98 Speed. Shazier doesn't get him. But there is Anthony Ba. Making a sack. So just absolute nightmare for him. His near flex or near close flex could not handle my defensive schemes for it, man. But like I said, I will be the first to tell you guys, man, there's different levels, man. If you play the best players in this, they're going to give you more trouble. They're going to score more points. Uh, but... As far as just a set defense that you can start with running, man, the way I run 3-4, I think is the best way to defend this. Now, I've always been as I catch another pick with Taylor Mays, and this one goes to the crib. I'm actually going to dance on him and actually wind up fumbling out the back of the end zone. But that's the video. That's the game. That's all I wanted to show you. Just in action, me kicking the shit out of somebody running near close flex. And I pretty much do it all the time. I don't think I've lost to somebody running the near close flex uh, since it's been that popular. I'll be the first one. I haven't played anybody that great uh, at it. And, and this defense seems to work very well. And that's your first goal. Like, you don't want to just say, oh, if I, uh, you know, I want to be able to stop Bunch. I want to be able to stop Skimbo's Bunch. No, you want to be able to stop, uh, <laughs> what, Timmy Raincoat. You want to stop his Bunch from down the street. You know, you want to stop the bum version of these offenses first. And once you get comfortable with that, then you can improve to the point where you're stopping better players and the greatest players, man. And that's what it goes. But it starts with being Timmy Raincoat from down the street. That is the most important thing. And this defense will help you guys out that much. Now, if you like this video, I know the gameplay wasn't great. It wasn't an intense game. But I just really wanted to show you guys how this defense works and how you guys can use it. So if you like this idea and you want more of this, please hit that like button.